Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, today in the Bible Bistro, we're looking at verses 6, 7, and 8 in Psalm 102. Now, Psalm 102 is a prayer. We don't know of who, but it's a prayer of the afflicted man. So this prayer can be copied and prayed. This prayer is also teaching us a lot. It teaches, teaches us about trouble and how it's viewed. And then, you know, in the second half of the prayer, beginning in verse 12, we're going to contrast our trouble with uh, the presence of the Lord and really kind of see that our trouble is really not that big a deal when compared to the Lord's greatness. And, you know, he's the one we're praying to, right? So if we're praying to him, shouldn't we believe that he is able and that he is greater than all of our troubles and sorrows? Well, we'll talk about that as we go through here, the divide, the division between the trouble of the psalmist and the wonder of the Lord and his greatness and goodness. But today we're looking at some more of this trouble. We started yesterday in verse 3. My days are consumed like smoke. So an experience that is common to every man. Verse 6, 7, and 8 then today continues his trouble. I'm like a pelican of the wilderness. I'm like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. So he's like a pelican of the wilderness, an owl of the desert. That's verse 6. The pelican and the owl are both unclean birds. They were not to be eaten by the people of Israel. So when he uses a pelican, not only is it despised of the people, it's despised of the Lord. The Lord doesn't want the people touching or eating or touching the dead carcass of these, these birds. But it's not just that that these are unclean animals, but it's also where they are. The pelican of the wilderness, an owl of the desert. He could have just said pelican and owl, but now he inserts where they live. So the wilderness and the desert. You notice the parallelism here is another place of parallelism. So they live in harsh environments, unforgiving places, places where it will be hard for them to make a living as a pelican or as an owl. And so they're alone, they're by themselves, they're isolated, they're in trouble because of where they are, not just because of what they are, but because of where they are. And then in 7, he says, I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. Another similitude. So he's like a pelican, like an owl, like a sparrow. And where's the sparrow? The sparrow is on the housetop. He watches He's alone. He can see all that's going on around him, all the activity of the people in the house, coming in, going from the house. He sees all of that. Nobody pays him any attention, you see. See, he is isolated from all those. So he's isolated from the Lord in that he's he considers himself an unclean bird. He's living in a place that makes it difficult for him. You know, the, his suffering is such that he feels as though he's in a wilderness or a desert. And maybe this also describes the condition of his soul. He feels soulishly as though he's in a wilderness, a desert, a dry place, alone on a housetop. You know, it's not all that great to be able to see all things, but not be able to participate in them. And then he says in verse 8, my enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me. So he's reproached not only by his physical condition, his bones, his heart, his skin, all that he mentioned there in 3 through 5. But now it's his enemies. So he, we're adding the enemy now to the list of things that are troubling the psalmist. They reproach me. That is, their, their words are reproachful. They're against me. They're mad against me. And they're sworn against me. Who was mad against David? Let's just ask that question. Saul was. He wanted, he wanted nothing more than to kill David, and he swore an oath to do just that. Mine enemies reproach me, they are mad against me, are sworn against me. So he has an enemy that's not casual, but is purposeful, and is 
in, and is enraged against him. So his trouble physically, his trouble with the enemy, and then tomorrow we're going to see he has more trouble. And we'll outline that tomorrow. I hope you'll join me then. We're going to look at 9 through 11 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.